Children are born creative. Sarah, for example, loves to dance. She doesn't care about making any wrong moves. At her first day at school, she can't wait to show her dancing skills to her new friends. They are so excited they even start copying her moves. But when the teacher comes in, he tells them to stop. School is not a place to dance, it's a place to get knowledge. So, the first thing Sarah learns, school is not about her interests. When Sarah graduates, she has the best degree in her class. Great, but she doesn't dance anymore because she is afraid that somebody might judge her. The reason? The first global education system was invented during industrialization, when medicine and mechanical machines were making huge steps forward. So, the most important subjects to support these developments were at the top of the hierarchy. They are needed today as well, but we don't know what the world will look like in the future. With the advances in automation, we will need to develop new business ideas and lifestyles. But how will our children invent these in the future, when they aren't educated to solve challenges in a creative way? Of course, our education system can change. On the one hand, it could put subjects like sports and arts on the same level like math, languages, or humanities. At the same time, it could give students more freedom to choose which topics they want to learn and which they don't. On the other hand, interdisciplinary tasks could teach teamwork to students with different strengths. The result? Success. And what about computers? No, not like this. In times of digitalization, schools should give students modern digital workspaces. Last but not least, schools should start encouraging creative expression from students like Sarah. Because the more creative and fearless she is, the better her chances are of becoming whatever she wants to be, even a dancing queen.